Hey, I got some kick butt news. Um, Moodle 2 supports drag and drop uploads and we just installed the block that makes that possible. So I'm going to show you how to do this on Lori O'Neill's page. She's a second grade teacher at Tanglin. So with editing turned on, you go to your add a block menu, which is on the lower right column and you go down to drag and drop upload and what this does is it does display a block on the, on the right hand side which I don't believe students see when they're in your course it's just something that you see that um, allows you to know that this is activated so I'm going to um, go down to my corner here and I'm just gonna make my little window my browser window uh, skinnier so that you can see that behind here I have some files in my finder window or in a folder that are spelling lists. So I'm going to go down to the spelling section and you'll notice that um, Lori has these completely set up. So I'm just using her page to demonstrate this. She doesn't really need to do this. Uh, so what do you do? It's very, very simple is you get your finder window in front and I just drag this and look what happens. You get in a little icon here that says add files here and it's as quick as that and all three of those files are on that page and at that point I could go under add a resource and put in a folder if I wanted to and put all those in a unit one folder or move them into this one um, because they are now part of my Moodle file directory so super fast super easy um, and just be attentive to what your file names are because when they come in your what's going to be posted there will be um, the same as what your file names are as they're saved on your computer. I think that is brilliant so much faster than Moodle 1.